Hi guys, today we'll show you how to replace the flat tire in Volvo XC40. We'll be using the stock jack and the, the spare tire. In this case, this is a flat tire, rear left. So what you'll need to do is, you will need to use the wheel blocks or big rocks or pieces of wood, if you don't have the wheel blocks, to block the front right. Make sure that the parking brake is applied. The jack and the spare tire are located in the trunk of the vehicle. Underneath this cover. Right here we have the stock jack and the spare tire. When you use a spare tire, you have to make sure that the, it is properly inflated. The tire pressure is 60 psi, and also you have to be aware that the maximum speed for this spare is at 50 miles per hour or 80 kilometers per hour. To remove our flat tire, first we need a couple of tools. We we'll have to use the wheel lock key and this special to remove the covers from the lug nuts. Now we will assemble the nut wrench that comes in the vehicle. Volvo XC40 has four different jacking points. There are two in the back. This is a plastic one and right here there is also the metallic one. And in the front The plastic one is right here, and this is the metallic one again. So for the purpose of our flat tire replacement, we will need to use this metallic point. You cannot use the plastic one for the stock jack. It's the plastic ones are only used in the shop to lift the vehicle. You will need to use this handle on the stock jack to lift it up. And uh, when you do it, ideally it needs to be on the flat surface. Keep lifting the back of the vehicle until the tire is off the ground. When the back of the vehicle is partially lifted, but the tire is still on the ground, this is when we have to do another thing. We will need to loosen the lug nuts using the wrench that comes in the vehicle. Unscrew them or loosen in this case counterclockwise. This one will use the key that we showed you before. Keep lifting the vehicle until the rear tire is completely off the ground. 
the maximum height that this jack can do is uh, 405 millimeters and the maximum weight is uh, 1210 uh, kilograms right now the wheel is off the ground you can see there is a gap here and now we can completely remove the lug nuts And now you can remove the wheel. Now we will install the spare and you have to make sure that the holes on the spare align with the one on the wheel. Install all five bolts. You should be able to rotate the lug nuts freely, there shouldn't be any resistance. If there is, you need to realign the uh, spare tire. Now we will use our wrench to tighten the bolts by hand. While the wheel is still in the air. Don't apply a huge amount of force, just enough to tighten the bolts. Once the tire has touched the ground, but the vehicle is still partially in the air, now we can fully tighten our bolts. Now you should apply slightly more force but still you shouldn't use your legs for example to, to jump on the range use moderate amount of force to tighten the bolts and now we can completely lower the back of the vehicle Don't forget to remove the wheel blocks. We'll put everything back. Jack goes back in location. Don't forget to put all the tools back. And as for the wheel, you'll have to put the wheel in the trunk. Our tire replacement is complete. Another thing you should be aware about is that replacing uh, the flat tire with the spare is a temporary solution and the spare should be replaced uh, back to normal wheel as soon as possible. Thank you guys for watching, we'll see you in the next video.